Hello. Now I've not done anything like this before, so bear with me. You may get some out of focus pictures. <laughs> I thought I would show you how I made this little, um, well I don't know what you would call it really. Um, I have posted about it on my blog. It's a sort of an ornament thingy. Um, right, a little bit more information now about um, how it came about. I call this my rock pool. So what I've used here is wool, um, vinyl, plastic, a little bit of tin, some old Christmas tree lights, and what I did was to crochet a circle and go round and round with different coloured blues and underneath you will see that it is a tin lid. So basically you can use any old rubbish that you've got. Little tufts of wool there and vinyl for the flowers now then what I did was to make my little rocks to put in the rock pool. This is an ordinary stone out of the garden covered in crochet and on there are some beads just sewn on. Right you can put these anywhere you like this again a little stone out of the garden and there I've got some rope I, I separated all the strands of this plastic rope and I threaded beads on and I tied knots in the strands so that the beads wouldn't all fall down to the bottom but here we've got zips Zips taken apart, small colourful zips taken apart, twirled round and stitched on. And we've got more zips. Again, sewn round in circles with buttons and stitched on. This little one, colourful pen tops from felt tip pens and beads. On this one we've got some strands of wool fluffed up, we've got some buttons, plain white buttons and I put spots of nail varnish on. This is my favourite. I like this one best. <laughs> I think this is quite cute. I took a video player apart and rescued all the springs out of it and painted them with nail varnish. Please excuse my camera work, it's not that brilliant. And there we have a little rock pool. Now I've just got a few bits and bobs to show you what I use to make this. I've got the strands of wool. These were off um, a poncho I bought from a car boot sale for a few pence. I stripped it down. A few little short zips which I got from the scrap store. Nail varnish which you can use for all kinds of things. A few scraps of vinyl here. Different colours. Cut shapes out of it. And stitch them onto things. The blue wool, uh, blue ropey thing I've, I've got there is 
something like that. You can separate into strands. There is one little Christmas tree light and a little bit of the flex from the Christmas tree lights that's used just there to hold the flowers up. The pen tops that I've used in that one there, I've cut them very small. Excuse me if it's out of focus, but that one. Oops, maybe I shouldn't zoom in so much. There we are. Cut from pen tops and of course a little spring. This is why I save all kinds of bits and bobs because eventually I'll get used for something. This is my rock pool which I think is lovely. You could make more little rocks like this with different things. You could change them around, move them about. There you are. Are you going to have a go? Don't throw things away because they could come in useful for something.